This liquid gold came from a pile of circuit boards. And these days, there could be more gold in a landfill than in a mine. But extracting it is an expensive and polluting process, often carried out at toxic dumps. Now, a New Zealand startup has found a cleaner and safer way to do that. And its secret ingredient comes from nature, microscopic organisms that evolved to absorb precious metals. Mint innovation begins with the circuit boards that are inside nearly every electronic device. So this is how the electronics the circuit boards, this is how we receive them, uh, cut up, treated into pieces. The company says it sources all raw material from a local recycler. The company's founders think that if it's easier to get valuable metals from e-waste, countries will choose to deal with it locally. A lot of the gold's wrapped up in these chips. The first step is to grind the circuit boards into a sand-like consistency. Workers shovel this sand into a reactor, which mixes it with inexpensive chemicals. Next, machines pump the mixture into a filter press to separate the liquids from the solids. This blue fluid contains a high concentration of copper, tin, and other less valuable metals. Mint uses electricity to pull out the copper. We simply put that through a series of plates, pass it over that, that have electric current flowing through them, and that plates out the copper from solution. This step in Mint's process, palladium and gold are still stuck in the solids. They're harder to dissolve and require another chemical bath. The next step in Mint's process makes it one of a kind, and it requires the help of nature. Mint's team identified these tiny helpers in 2017 through a series of research trips to places like abandoned mines or fields with rusty equipment. They collected species of bacteria and fungi that evolved to bond with specific metals. Over several hours, the microbes will gain weight as they absorb precious metal ions. When the paste dries out, the gold nanoparticles in it start to appear purple. The mixture is ready for the last step. So this is where the final bit of magic happens, where we burn off the microbial part, just leaving the metal part behind that they've captured. It takes one week to extract 150 grams of gold from one ton of circuit boards. The founders carry around this solid gold coin to show what that looks like. It seems like a lot of work for a small payoff. Is it really worth the trouble? Mint's founders say yes, because it's getting harder to mine precious metals from the earth. The big gold mines are recovering uh, literally grams, three, four, five grams of gold from a ton of rock. 81% of gold that's identified today is already above the ground. And as gold mines are depleted, the amount of e-waste generated globally has increased steadily over the past decades. If those trends continue, by 2050, we'll have to deal with 110 million metric tons of e-waste every year. Up to a fifth of all e-waste moves across borders, likely ending up in developing countries where workers process it by hand at illegal dump sites. Thousands of people worldwide make a living extracting copper from e-waste, primarily by burning it. Inhaling the fumes damages workers' lungs and increases their risk for cancer and other illnesses. Mint's long-term goal is to make it easy and profitable for cities to process their e-waste locally. The company is planning full-scale facilities in Australia and the United Kingdom. This smaller plant in Auckland, New Zealand, was built to demonstrate how Mint's process works. The small number of employees would have limited contact with e-waste, keeping them safe from exposure to toxic compounds. 